So here we have it, game number one of this best of one. The round of 16 of go for SC2 Monday, 75 euros on the line, plus a spot in the monthly finals. Spawning in the top right position of Way Station, we have got the Pink Zerg player representing Z5, Arbiter. And his opponent to the lower left, the Green Zerg player representing AT Gaming. It is Elza. ZVZ, always intense. Close positions, even more crazy. It's gonna be good. Super excited about it, actually, because ZVZ, of all the mirror matchups, is probably, for me, the most exciting. TVT definitely sits there as probably the one I most enjoy watching, but in pure, like, thrills, ZVZ has the potential. Bling, bling phase... That is where stuff gets crazy. Like, insanely good. We'll have to wait and see if we get any of that fun, though. But with an early pool and an early gas coming down from Arbiter. And also, slightly later, but still early, from Elza. We are definitely in store for some early aggression from these two. Arbiter is going to have the slight edge in the timings, considering his spawning pool is about 40 seconds ahead of that of Elza's. And his gas is also a long way ahead. Gonna be neck and neck, the first six Zerglings coming in for Arbiter here. He's down at 10 drones though, compared to the 14 that Elza has. That means that Elza will have a much better economy here, sitting at about 160 more minerals per minute. But Aidlings on their way, a Baneling nest coming through. This is gonna be a Zergling Baneling pretty much all in, coming down from Arbiter. Elza needs to identify this is coming. Sees now a lot of Zerglings coming with his Overlord. Knows now the pressure is getting applied. Can he get a defense up? Is he going to be able to hold this aggression? If he does, without taking many drone losses, he is in a fantastic spot. He's going to be up in terms of the drone count. He is going to be up in terms of the income. And he is going to be feeling very, very comfortable. But... Speed is on the way. That's a long time coming. The Spine Caller coming down as well. Everything has to be played just so carefully right now from Elza. Arbiter is banking on the Banelings doing something good. They haven't yet been seen and they're not quite... Are they going to get seen? Yes, they do. One Baneling. Seen morphing. That is really important now for Elza. Knows the pressure is going to be coming through and knows that this is going to be a lot of aggression. The Queen, in a nice position, has to make sure the Banelings are shut down. One detonation gets quite a few of those Zerglings. The Queen gets surrounded. The Spine frantically trying to reposition a second one on its way through. Elza wants those Banelings dead. Only one remains, but it takes two to kill some drones. The drones, though, they're all clumped up. Take a couple of hits, and the Zergling's going to be coming through. Six more Lings in production at the moment for Elza, and things are looking all right. He's not out the woods yet, though. There's still a couple of things, but no, nothing else following this up. Back to drone production over on Arbiter's side. Unfortunately for him, he's only up at 14 drones at the moment and down in the overall supply quite substantially. With speed finished as well, over on Elza's side, he takes down those Zerglings and prepares for the counterattack. This is going to force defensive links and defensive banelings out of Arbiter now. Otherwise, the speedlings are just going to rip through every drone in that mineral line. Not enough time though to get that up. GG well played cooled and Elza takes game number one and therefore advances into the quarterfinals and therefore into the best of three stage.